I guess really it's a Duster 340. Automatic, 391 meters, going against A5. Got the four barrel, four speed, not a five pound. Nice to see a four barrel here. 1380 Chicago, or maybe a Chicago suburb. Got the nice. Rare car, very invisible car. Not the best. 375 horsepower. Standard mode of this car. Going against Danielle Miller. I want to say they made 720. Very cool car. Mike Seabold, I want to say he's the camera. Mike, the first going against Tom Miller, driving Dan Jensen, 442 W30. Tom Norton owns this Cobra Camaro. The 431,000 is the one. Going to get from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Here's the S-45. Ron Flario. Old Cutlass, 1969. The Cutlass is not a performance car per se, but here at the end, one driver is 350, it's not bad. 1970, Torino Cobra, Super Cobra Jet Motor, 375 horses, a 429, going against 10 people. 389, Four years later. 2900 Hertz Olds is 1969. They didn't make another one until 1971. I'm sorry, 72. Sold for over 30 years on the sports lot in France. He will step up on the standard GTO motor. Going against Paul Glasgow from Ohio. I think it's going to be a good one. Catalina Ford Fiesta. Going against Paul Chevy Seville. I think he's the original owner, if I remember. Yes, original owner, original paint. Took the liberty to the Reverend Diamond. Joseph Shepard, South Bay, Michigan. This is 1972 ESX, the 455 stage one. Well, you've got top of each one board. I'll show you which one wins. Sometimes the uh, solar car will win. Bob Callum has this Camaro. It's an RS7. It's a 1972. Going against its brother, Steve Roman has this. Same motor, but marked it a little bit differently. 78 of these. Most of them were yellow. A little bit fewer of them were in white. The only two cars available. Automatic 430 gears. It's a Belvedere, so it has a push button. Next wedge in the right lane, 11.59 for the win, beating the heavy Coronet 11.68. And Hunter Chevy going against Rick Mahoney. Actually, I believe this car is being driven by Scott Tiemann. 1968 Dodge Super B, the first year of the Super B, and one of about 125 or so built with 426 Hemi. It's an automatic with 450, I mean, sorry, 456 gears. Camaro 
Central wind. Eleven forty nine, one hundred seventy miles per hour. Owns this nineteen seventy old four four two. Eleven forty nine, one hundred seventy miles per hour. The right lane goes to the pass. Both cars are similarly equipped, except the car on the running has got three forty two gears. The one in the left lane is three twenty threes. Rich Straub owns this Plymouth Duster from 1970. It's a Duster 340 going against the 1965 Honda. car. Baker wins with a 1378 Plymouth GTX. We got a 69 GTX of black in this race. You can see this the subtle difference is the 68 GTX has stripes along. And the winner is not the Buick, it's a Plymouth. 1376. Chris Jones has a Super Cobra Jet Torino Cobra from 1970. Going against Ken Rebel. Warren is Pontiac is one of the nicest Pontiacs of the decade. Pontiacs from 1961 are very strong. 410 gears, 4 speed, going against Kurt Cart with his Hurst Olds. 1969 Hurst Olds with 380 horsepower. All Hurst Olds are going to be and the winner of this one, the Hearst Souls, the other DTO in 1967. Doug Messman is the owner, it's a 400 inch show. Going in tall glass, going to the duty cabinet. Black bucket seat interior, a tool package car to exist. The car attended Nancy. Going against Studebaker in the left lane that wins 13 19 and wins Joe Shepard with his 1972 Buick GSX. He's got the stage one motor. Yeah, one uh, this is my Christmas, and it, wow. he did not win. 1336 and 102 for the winning six, 375 horsepower. They only made 600 of those cars. The winner of this is going to be the Baker. 1298 at 110 miles per hour. The Maris 12.03. Bob Witt has this Rambler Scrambler. He's from Manhattan, Illinois. Going to John Lasso. Yo, years, so this may be a Raymer car. This Raymer car is the only team with 433 years. He wins. Bob Taleb has the Chevy Camaro 69 SS RS package. So the RS is the Rally Sport. It's got the hidden headlights, some trim, different taillights. So in his power deck. Grand Am. Round four motor. One year before the Super Duty came out, which was a successor. The Firebird Red. Loud taking off. Just torques out of there, man. Sounds pretty loud right there. Donnie Brass in the Corvette wins a 1324. Oh shit. Uh, Roberta yeah, has a 1324. Thank you. 
Rich Johns owns the TSX in the right lane. Stage one car. He loses with a 1268. Chevelle wins with a 1260. 111. Ragla has this 1969 Debbie Nova. 396 Novas are very, very good. George Cran with nineteen sixty four to the bigger. James Crider has a 1972 Olds 442 in the left lane. They made about six, seven hundred of those that year in four body styles. This one was probably based, it was the option that year, so this one was the most popular one with the company that. Tom Papazian, Chevelle Super Sport 396, got the standard 396 rated at 325 horses. You could also get 360 horses and 375 horses in 1966. Pontiac 2 plus 2 in the right lane from 1965. You can get 338 horsepower from the 421. And there were two tri powers, 356 horses and 376. <laughs> This one's going to be the Pontiac in the right lane, 1424 at 96 miles per hour, beating the Chevelle's 1454 at 98 miles per hour. Up next, we have Tony Rosendahl, 19. Oh, no, I'm a little bit out of order, so I'm sorry. Michael Lane, that's Tony Rosendahl, sorry, folks. Anyway, Studebaker in the left lane, Pontiac in the right lane. How about that? Studebaker wins with a 1481 at 87 miles per hour, beating the police. Not red light. The red lighting car is 1973 Olds, 442, Jim Van Dam. 1964 Pontiac GT on the left lane. Tri-power, 348 horsepower. Nice step up. In the right lane is center screen, a special color. 
and take you through Studebaker Lark. The Super Lark package, four speed, going against his 1970 Camaro Super Sport. See a lot more. Twelve ninety six, one eleven miles per hour for the Studebaker. This is the Super Bus. I'm going to put the cart away. That is a 1972 Pontiac Trans Am going against a 1969 L78. Trans Am going available in white, blue, blue and white. This is a rare color combination. 1304, 107 miles. Roberto Vasilov. I'll just have Johnny In any case, whoever's driving. Another L78 available this time is the 67. This is owned by Jim Marvin. Freeland, Michigan, going against the Buick GSX. It's, I believe, a stage one. Anyway, he wins with a 12.60 one. Winner, Nova, 1254, 111 miles per hour from 1968. Rated at 340 horsepower for the Firebird and 366. The winner of this one's going to be the Firebird because he did not red light.